Hey, how you guys doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Who else? What is this? Well, it's a visor, Dell visor, Windows, mixed reality VR headset. Now you're gonna ask, well, why is it called a uh, mixed reality VR headset? Well, because it has both uh, two front cameras, which gives you that uh, augmented reality. So that way it's kind of similar to uh, Microsoft visors, you know, where you can have argument, augmented, uh, whatever you call that, uh, augmented reality, where you can put like a certain object, CGI objects, and they can walk around and move around. It's called augmented reality. All right, so I can put like a little Pinocchio here or Smurf walking around on this box, all right? So what this is, it's a uh, Microsoft Windows mixed reality VR headset from Dell. This is the one that's uh, highly recommended. Uh, I did my research on it and people are saying this is the most comfortable one and the most light lighter one that you can get. Uh, I do have pretty much every VR headset there is. I have uh, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, PlayStation VR, and now Visor. And now uh, you guys are gonna say, well, why are you getting this? Well, I'm getting this because I already have a computer. I have a very powerful Alienware 17, which is top of the line Alienware 17 laptop. It has 1080 uh, graphical GPU built into it with 8 gigs of RAM. It has 32 gigs of uh, memory RAM. It has uh, the latest uh, last generation of i7, 7th generation, uh, the most powerful 7th generation uh processor which is 4.8 gigahertz okay so i do have a powerful pc to handle this okay and 32 gigs of ram all right so um let's unbox this thing shall we Let, let's do it um we'll do this in real time i'm gonna show it to you all right so i'm gonna go ahead like uh, there's a bunch of ants walking around here so i'm gonna move it up like this so you guys can see a little bit better like that okay i'll keep it like this so you guys can see it so i'm gonna grab my scissors and we're gonna open this up okay i'm not doing any editing i'm gonna do this unboxing uh in real time this video will just be unboxing uh the setup process and the first look that'll be my second video this is just the unboxing so you can see it all right, so here are my scissors right here so you guys can see them there's one over here as well let's uh get that as well by the way this uh vr headset it's very light this box is very light that's one of the unique features about this it's very very light so let's pop this open shall we okay Oh, I see. It's got to go this way. I got it. So it has to be this way. Is it? Hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, it is this way. Oh, I forgot. There's a couple of more. There's a couple of more that I forgot right here you see there's uh one right over here there's two at the bottom two at the bottom see there's one over here see i forgot about that okay and there's one right over here it's like a surgical procedure there now we should be good to go okay here we go. Come on. Come on already. Ah, we'll have to do it like this. There we go. That's how it looks inside the box. So, let's put it like this. Hold on, like that. So you guys can see a little bit better. Hopefully you guys can see it. 
yeah, you guys can see it. So this is the VR headset. These are the controllers. They uh, come with it. Normally this will cost you uh, a lot more, but if you buy it today, as of this date, which is December 10th, you can get this for like uh, 400, all of this stuff together. So these are the, uh, the controllers. I'm gonna take them out. It look like, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of strange. It looks all right. Oh. These are Bluetooth controllers, meaning that you have to pair them with your Bluetooth. All right. Here it is right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. There it is. There. Put that there. All right. Let's get the other one right here. I'll keep this like that. Let's pull this one out too. Pretty basic, you know, this is the left side, you know, a very light and uh, look, uh, what's so unique about these controllers and this VR headset obviously is that you don't have that many cables, okay? The reason why this is so unique is there's no more cables. And another reason why I got this, it's also because now uh, Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality VR headset supports Steam. So you can play games from Steam. So now you have a good reason to purchase this. It supports Steam, so you got plenty of games to play. Uh, games like Fallout 4, it's coming out uh, on Tuesday. Also, this VR headset, which I'm gonna pull out, has a 1440 on each left and right side of the lens. So you're gonna have much higher resolution than HTC Vive and Oculus Rift, and it's gonna look much sharper. All right, so let's pull this out. And as you can see, there's not that many cable, just one cable that has both uh, HDMI and USB. And this is very light and it's very kind of similar to uh, PlayStation VR. It has a very nice glossy uh, finish to it. And you can pop it out like that. So it, it, this is something that I wish uh, PlayStation VR will do, where you can just move it up and down. So if you want to like check something out, you don't have to pull it uh, out of your out of your head. You can just keep it on your head and just move it up like that. So this is kind of cool. I like this. This is good. Uh, good idea. You see, it also has the similar PlayStation uh, VR adjustment, where you can move these things around, these little scrollers, and tighten up uh, this halo. So that's pretty cool. And this is a unique thing. Uh, I see it only comes with one cable. Uh, it does have this additional cable, cable here, which you plug in your uh, headset. Your uh, headphone jack or headset, or whatever it is that you have. And uh, I like this, this is pretty cool. Has a nice little cushions in here inside. So, you know, that's, uh, that's how it looks. And uh, there's something else that came in. They have these little like straps that come in with the uh, with those controllers. You can use them with the controllers. That's cool. So let's put this over here, right there. Uh, this I don't know what this is. Probably batteries. I'm guessing it's probably batteries. It has to be batteries. I don't know what else it could be. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, let's see, we'll find out what this is. Yeah, it is batteries. It is. Is it? Yeah, they're batteries for your controller to use. And there was another thing that was in there as well. Let's go check it out. There's this thing too. I don't know what this is. Uh, just a manual and stuff like that for you to read. Just a manual, you know, a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, no one's going to read this. I'm not going to bother reading this. <laughs> okay. So put that aside over here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's a very simple box, uh, you know. So this is just the unboxing I wanted to show you. 
There's the uh, the VR headset and the controllers are all there. And put it over here for a minute. There's the controllers right there. There's the left side. There's the, the right side. Okay, there they are. And uh, all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to kind of let you know what I think. My first thoughts on this uh, VR headset, Mixed Reality from Dell on Windows. And uh, it looks kind of like a chappy, doesn't it? It has like a little sad robot face, chappy. See, those are the two front uh, augmented cameras. They're used for front, so you can, when you're watching in virtual reality, you can put certain CGI objects there, you know, like uh, you can have something in front of you. So it's kind of cool. So it's kind of like a HoloLens, pretty much. You know, that's why they call it mixed reality VR headset. All right, so this was just the unboxing. Uh, I will give you my first initial thoughts and uh, views on this and let you know what I think. Okay. As you all know, uh, I have every VR headset there is. I'm going to compare this to uh, HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and PlayStation VR, and I'll let you know what I think. Uh, but you will need a Windows 10 and a very powerful PC to be able to handle this. But one unique feature, again, from for this is, is the fact that uh, it's very portable, very light. You can take it with you. You don't need to carry a bunch of cameras and cables, okay? This is pretty much uh, very easy to use. All right, so there you have it, my first unboxing. Hopefully you guys like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.